But yes, um, straight off the bat, I must say thank you to you chaps who comment and subscribe. Um, a couple of people have mentioned how uh, I seem to explain things in a good way. I don't understand, but if you're understanding it, then cool. Um, so straight off the bat, we're going to take off this panel. You can almost consider this video a how-to on to removing this back panel and it could also be used as a product review for the better than your old stock panel that goes across there um someone mentioned that they thought their stuff was expensive but i thought mm, considering the cost of probably tooling up and making it i'd say that's probably quite reasonable um but of course the joys of the world we live in not everybody's going to agree with you um yeah, I have noticed that people don't like paying a lot for panels, but unfortunately, I don't think you quite grasp how much effort is involved in making a really good panel. Unfortunately, that's probably why um, that company panels, that uh, company shall not be named, their panels are a little bit below average because they probably don't put too much time into making them. Um, so this good stuff is usually more expensive because somebody's actually put a fair amount of effort into trying to get them right. So unfortunately, it's one of those you get what you pay for. If you want to pay not much, well, don't expect much. If you want to pay a bit more, you'll probably get a much better product. And that's pretty much generic across the whole board in anything, really. So, yeah, so that, that turned out all right. I mean... Obviously, you got doesn't look as nice as an original factory piece because they spot weld theirs. So this isn't, um, and unfortunately, on my XB, that little bracket was in much much better condition because it hasn't been rear-ended. <laughs> um, hmm, interesting. Now that I've seen them compared, it is uh, through there. It is a relatively straight line. Maybe it was. Maybe it was that that panel that was slightly off or it could be that being crushed and pushing it over the top but I don't know hmm interesting stuff but at least it looks right now and you know it's not a too dissimilar look to that side I mean well hmm interesting stuff but anyway 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 um yeah let's not get too Caught into it. Um, first off, the first cab off the rank, we should say, is we're going to have to figure out what the fruit biscuit is going on up here. I'm going to have to run a grinder through that, I reckon. Um, but we want to, you either want to drill out or belt sand. I mean, there's welds, what you don't see sometimes, is there's actually spot welds hidden up under here. Um, so sometimes I'll belt sand them, sometimes I'll drill them out. Um, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six through there, which is actually the boot floor. Then you've got two, two, uh, and you've got a couple up in here. And then you should have uh, a few through here, which is the bracket. There'll be none through here. You'll only have the ones across here. But, uh, I mean, honestly, if you're doing this, or trying to replace this panel you probably don't have to worry too much across here because it'll probably be rusted out because if you're going there much effort to take it out uh, it'll be probably stuffed and then of course there's some some through here but you can just run a grinder through there as long as you don't cut into the inner um lower rear quarter because it, if it's done right well if the factory has done it it will be in between this panel and this panel so there's three layers just here. And unfortunately, I'm gonna have a nightmare trying to get this off because somebody's been here before. Um, yeah, and this side's all plug welded. Whether or not those plug welds are actually holding is another question. So I'm gonna have to cut across here and I'm gonna have to just, probably these ones have to be belt sanded and then I'll cut, pull this panel out then I'll get my new one. Move that. Move that. Move that. 
I'm going to pick it all up in one go. Stuff everywhere. Modern cars, pretty much everything's held together with these little guys now. <laughs> And then under here, can't believe how much stuff was sitting on top of this, is we got the corners, which are very, very good. And once again, they're, I think they're about 100 bucks a pop. And you might go, wow, that's expensive for a piece of tin, but I can assure you, a lot of time and effort went into making that. So I can, I can assume that the person making them isn't making the world's greatest amount of money on them. They're probably just trying to get your product that's good. Right, we'll do a bit of an unboxing of this. So normally, this is how they come from Howard Astle because it's just easier sometimes to order from him because he's actually quite good on delivery. He, you can order stuff and you get it within a few days depending on how your postage system is going. But back in the day before COVID, which I don't like mentioning in my videos because it's a bit of a sore topic in the world at the moment. Um, before then you used to get stuff pretty damn quickly, which was incredible. Open sesame. Get off. Doesn't help that I have 200 holes in my shirt. Hey. So. Here we go, kids. Here we go. So lovely. I'm going to just slice this off. If I put a scratch on it, I'll, I'll live with it. Ah, look at that. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, and this one's got these. When you order an XC one, you won't get them. Um, and if you get stuck, you can just put the old ones on. And that's what I do to the XC one the other day. On, the, on that XC coupe, we couldn't get the uh, this style one. We just got whatever we could get. We had to wait a fair while for this because we had to put it back into production. But look how look how good that is. Just magic, magic, magic. Mm. Can't go too wrong with that. I mean, you know, there will be people who will go, wow, that's expensive. But come on, look at the quality of it. It is absolutely just beautiful. Even the primer on it is actually of a high standard. Yep. A lot of time and effort went into making that. You've got to be happy with it. So basically we're going to clean off here and probably have to drill some holes for plug welds. And the boot floor will sit just in here a little bit. And then obviously your end pieces sit here and your in sections. These aren't actually, these are fairly easy to fit in the scheme of things. You've only got like a stack of welds through here and a stack of welds through there. And then the boot floor sits in here and then you've got some here and then the tail light panel welds across the top on this lip and these nearly always rust out unless you're lucky like me and have an XB Falcon that's never rusted it out. Um, ding, ding, ding. Yes, very nice. Um, so I'm going to stop rambling because this is going to be a long video at this rate. Um, and we'll start doing some work. I'll catch up in a second once I've started getting some of that stuff off.
hope you enjoyed a little bit of time lapse. Um, yeah, I was using my grinder and uh, my battery powered one, it was going good, but the batteries kept dying. Uh, downside with battery powered tools. So I drilled out what I could, I've cut where I can. I'm going to have to belt sand the rest of this, and because I don't want to bore you with endless amounts of time lapsing, I'm just going to jump to this panel being off. And, um, yeah, I've got to stop saying the word um. You might have noticed that I say it a lot. It's um, still nervousness from being behind a camera. <sighs> yeah. So that I have to deal with. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's uh, let's catch up in a second with this is all off. The joys of being on the, your side of the computer, you get to see it done rather than having to watch it all. <laughs> so you may notice that that is now on the ground. Um, I did actually have to use an oxy to get around the um, the worlds. Um, if you're very very careful with a cutting torch, and you have to be really quick, you can just zip around. The worlds and blow off the top layer of steel but without wrecking the stuff behind it and then i just got a grinder like grinding disc and just ground off the red i'll tidy that up a lot better before i go put the next panel on and now i'm just working my way up the sides to get this this the remnants off here yeah, having a bit of a hard time focusing and then i discovered on this side i think i'll be making a small section of boot floor here uh, which shouldn't be too bad, it just looks like just a little lip. Uh, and then get this section out and probably trim this off a little bit more. Uh, just fun, fun, fun. But yes, this, this is fairly straightforward. Now we're just grinding off all these welds here. They're still the original ones. And then there's some uh, ones there. So once we've got them out, we can clean this up the face and trial fit the new panel and it should fit about here and that bent up a little bit but I'll grind that and it should fit snug in and be level or relatively I mean we're also running into issues with if you look down this rail it's not yeah it's it's had it's been well loved that's the best way to say that um, and then once we got this back panel in, we can do, uh, <laughs> remake the bottom of that again and, uh, try and get it a little bit pretty. I mean, it'll never be super pretty because it's, uh, it looks like it's been inside out and upside down, basically. Uh, we, we're just trying to make it, um, better. That's all we're trying to do. <sighs> But anyway, 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 let's let's just keep on keeping on, and um, yeah. Righty, um, I've changed it up a little bit as I do. I never really um, do the things I'm planning on doing in one go. I sort of chop and change, depending on my mood. So I was like, gee, how many of these worlds are actually holding? Because these are... These are the <clears throat> previous repairer. Um, turns out, none of them. <laughs> Quick tap with a chisel. That's about the only one that was holding. So I'm actually going to, considering I have really good access to this right now, I'm going to get this out. I've only got a couple of welds through here and maybe one or two there. I'm going to get that out and clean this both sides of this panel and I will put this in when I put this in. I was just studying, uh, one of my loyal fans sent me some photos of an original Landau that was super unmolested. Because uh, I was just trying to get a bit of an idea of what this is supposed to look like because all of them have been repaired these days and finding photos of an original one is near impossible. So studying those quite thoroughly uh, I spent a bit of time hammering the style line back in through here and recessing that tail light because uh, that was all crushed out. Uh, interesting to note that the the shaping is actually really only on the corners. When it gets to here, 
it's pretty well flat. It has a slight fold <laughs> right about there. So it comes down and then folds down and goes to the bottom. And that's it, really. The only shapes you see is through here and nothing across the back. <laughs> yeah, bless my little heart. <laughs> so yeah, you only really see um, the only shapes pressed into it are really here. And then it's fairly smooth. And then, yeah, like I just said, a uh, fold, which I suspect I'll be cutting up into this a little bit. And then it's fairly flat. This side's, um, well, that's on the floor now. Uh, this side's fairly close to original. I will be cutting that little chunk of crap out. And then, uh, yeah, so it, it just comes down, folds, and just disappears into a flat comes to here and then you see this this coming on an angle and then this flat one fold down and it's not even a hard fold it's just a light fold so yes I'm gonna get this out and I drill out the three spot welds through here and I think there's two here and then that should once I get that mess apart I'll be able to put, pull this out and bin it Alrighty chaps, so we got the corner out. It took a fair bit of grinding to get all the old welds off uh, in there to try and recover it. I've been inside the boot with the belt sander, cleaning off the inside of here, down and around to there, so that's ready. This side's ready to go. I've got to come over here, I'm going to clean off all this garbage and make a small section just here, which is fairly simple. It's just going to be a flat piece with a little little bend on the end to match up with that and it's not doesn't feel rusty under it uh, so I should be able to just go straight there and straight up and then clean all that clean all that and then prep up the new panel which should be fairly straightforward and that should be able to clamp straight on relatively line up with these the bolt holes and then start welding it on and then I'll put once I've got that main piece in then I'll stick this end piece in because they sort of got to match up a little bit um, but we'll walk you through this hopefully um, and here's hoping that it's all understanding alrighty chaps I have just replaced that small section of boot floor there because you do it was rusty it is now fixed I'll grind that down I'll grind under here I've already cleaned that a bit, I'll do it a bit more, got that crap off, I'll copper spray it and I'll prep up the new panel and then we can start trial fitting on the back panel and potentially that corner over there, but um, focus, there we go, it's in, looking lovely, looking lovely, meows, meow, 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 <laughs> alright I've just thrown that in as a bit of a, uh, just stick it in and see how it fits and you really can't beat it. It's just plunk, straight in. Um, now, if you look at this side, those three line up fairly well. That's because that rail hasn't done anything it shouldn't have. It's never been hit. So all of that, pretty good. This side, we're going to have to uh, um, live with it being some of these holes being slightly off. But I'm going to make sure that the bolts of the bumper, the bumper bar still go through and that it's relatively level unfortunately this side's been hit stupendously hard and those rail ends are not quite um where they once were uh, but i don't suspect i don't think it'll be an issue um once again me saying um so yeah i mean this side's pretty darn smashing it's going to look fantabulous. I also replaced, you may not have seen it, or did you? I think I did, actually. Uh, sometimes I forget what I filmed. Um, but yeah, that end's done. So this side's fitting quite good. I mean, just give them a tap when you're about to weld them on. And they'll fit up good. That side, not offensive. Um, yeah, I think it's going quite well. I'm going to actually, I will get this on today and in this video. So, we'll just do a bit more measuring, a bit more tweaking. But superficially, 
I have to assume, considering it does actually fit where it's supposed to go, that the quarter panels and the rails are actually pretty close to their spot that they're supposed to be. But for a panel that goes straight in with no mods, there's one right there. So I'll catch up in a second when I'm started to weld this in. All I gotta do now is um, take it back off, um, prep up behind uh, this panel and where all the flanges are. So bare metal them, copper spray them, uh, drill out some holes for plug welds. So there should be, you should have probably six going across here for the floor. You should have two for each one and you'll probably put two there even though there's no hole there. So you put two, 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 and then six across there and we'll tackle the side uh, when we're putting the ends in, I reckon. But this side's already ready to rock and roll. I've prepped both sides of that. It didn't enjoy having all that stuff taken off it. So yeah, I'll just bare metal in here and then uh, I'll, I will weld this one to here and then I'll do the two, two and then the welds to the floor and then two, two and weld these down, tap them down to their final location and then do a bead across the ends right there and probably on the inside just up here across there across there and down there for safety's sake just so it's all tied in really nice and strong uh i'm more keen on giving this one more strength because it's been effectively weakened slightly uh because metal is never quite the same after it's been stretched so yes i'll catch up in a second and uh we'll be giggling like a schoolgirl right i'm gonna this is my trick of um being able to suss out uh, where I need to prep the panel. I get myself ye olde can of cop spray because it can be seen really easily. And I just go because I'll clean it off later. And I go like this. And then my mama cried. And then when I have it off. Ooh, I'm not turning around. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. And when I get it off, I'll be able to see exactly where I need to sand it. Because it's only copper spray, you can always just grind it back off later. In the ghetto. <laughs> uh, right. That is one way to very quickly work out where I need to clean bare metal because you get a perfect outline if you haven't already figured that out all right and there we have it look at that and then you just go drill 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 and then two 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 done two 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 drill 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 Wiped it off with my finger, and then we have it all ready. And then, once I've drilled the holes, because I'll drill the holes first because I've got a perfect outline, and then I'll bare metal it and then cop spray it again uh, where the welds are going to be. You can see the rails, this um, that rail got very heavily bent. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, is all that is required to make that panel fit. Bunch of holes for welds. Ideally, if you had a decent spot welder, and I mean decent, you probably wouldn't even need to drill the holes. You could just weld it on like the factory, because those tools do exist, but they're like 50 grand for a decent one. Um, and one day, that is the dream. I'd love to have one, so that I didn't have to ever do this. I could just put it on the way the factory did it. That would be the dream. But anyway, that's all that's required. We're going to weld this in in a second. That side's all good. That side's all good. Boot floor's repaired. We've cleaned off all the junk in there. Uh, we've still got to remove that corner eventually. But we're ready to stick this in and weld it in for good. I'll do some final measurements. And then it's game on. Alright, so we're into the uh, final measurement stage. And unfortunately, um, I'm being done in a little bit by... There, I'll scooch over here. The wrinkliness of the underside of this panel. Normally... 
uh, you could, if it was straight like this side, you can get your measurements here because this is about the only parallel spot. So I was going off here, here, not sure, there, here, 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 all the way to about here where it starts getting bent is all perfectly parallel. That's all acceptable. That's a good height. That's matching. I'll tap that down. Don't worry about that. Um, and this side is so close, but it's a little bit off. But I can't tell whether or not... I mean, I can tell. I think it's this, the underside of this, potentially screwing me up because that's not even remotely flat across there. So it's going to be... Um, and you got one that's too far that way, one that's too far up. But the one that I straightened up and put back in is about spot on and the boot floor all those welds line up good and it is reasonably parallel with the inner um, rear quarter panel so I think this is gonna have to be a bit of a uh, this will have to do it's gonna be a happy medium it may not be 100% perfect uh, but we'll have to make do because we can't get accurate measurements because that's about as flat as an ocean across the underside of that. But I do know because it's smooth from here across, so half of it is okay. So from here, there, they're all the same measurement all the way to here. And then they start varying quite spectacularly once you get along here. Uh, so my one that I fixed on that top bracket, which is attached to the floor and the floor fit fairly well. That's all good. So I can, I'm confident in my calculations that that is actually level across the back of that car. But it, it's throwing you off because also this cut, which I recut on the last person's line, is just, wee, 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 just throws you right off. So you can't look at that gap. You have to look a bit, bit, bit further up. So I went for the next area that's straight and that's, about the best I can do. It's, you know, how long's a piece of string? And the correct answer is twice the length from one end to the middle, if you've never heard the answer. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna, we're just gonna have to weld it in there. And unfortunately, that's how it's gonna be because that's as close to right as I can get it with what I've been given. I just gotta show you this sometimes so I can cover my own, my own tuchus. So that people know that I'm attempting to do it as correct as possible. So weld we we're gonna weld in now. There isn't actually much to weld in. Uh yeah. And we'll crack on. Right, so we're all welded in. I've ground down the welds. I while I was in here I did the weld through here. I did a couple extras. I went up here, across here, up there, around there, and around there. Just to give it a bit of extra strength, and I did the same on this side. One through there, across there, across there, up and around there. It just gives it a bit more strength, and it never hurts to have them a bit better. I'm just going to blow out all the metal filings in here now and just coat this with some black etch. And then we are going to jump on the outside of the car and start looking at putting in that panel. But I'm wondering whether or not that's going to happen in this video or not, because we're running out of daylight pretty spectacularly. But we'll just keep going and see how far we get, eh? Alrighty, we're in the process of fitting up the corners. And, um... I used to have a saying, whereas if these don't fit, there's something wrong with your car. And... They don't fit. Because these, I have fitted so many sets of these corners to coops. It isn't even funny, and they've all fitted. And this one is the first one that hasn't gone straight in and I can only assume it's the car not the piece because the pieces have always been almost direct fits so yeah I think I want to round out the video here we've gotten a lot done uh, it's going to be fairly lengthy video too and I'll leave the tweaking of this to another video or I'll catch up another time but yeah that's pretty well sorted yeah so i hope you enjoyed this video it's going to be a long one uh yeah
I'll leave it there. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.